All right, so today we're taking a look at the ultra wide support for AC Mirage along with my quick impression of the game so far. Now this game was advertised as having uh, ultra wide support along with 32 by 9. While it does so in gameplay, cutscenes still remain pillar box. However, you can just do a quick hex edit just like uh, uh, Odyssey and Valhalla to get the fill the screen properly. Uh, it's not perfect. There are on occasion depending on your angle and the camera and your FOV, but seam does disappear uh, during conversation. Uh, so just keep that in mind, it's not perfect, but it is a nice quick solution at the moment. And on occasion there will be NPC pop-in uh, if you're using the hex edit, but it doesn't happen very often. If you're uh, using the 21 by 9 and you're using the hex edit, the UI should be fine. But if you have a larger screen, the UI seems to be uh, stretching right now is the word. Since I do not have a 32 by 9 so that is the word right now that there is some uh, UI stretching. And depending on what game version you have, if you're using uh, Ubisoft Connect to play or uh, you purchase the game, uh, there is two different executables. So depending on which you have, you will have to, ex uh, to edit the, the appropriate executable. So all that information will be in the description. Besides that, the uh, menus and everything, including the loading screens, are in ultra-wide. So it is still not a perfect ultra-wide support game. Uh, unlike uh, Origin, which to me is still a surprise, that game had uh, perfect ultra wide support. Uh, so I don't know why all the other games after that uh, required any sort of fixing. So, anyway, that is it for the ultra wide support. And moving on to my PC impression of the game. Supposedly, the game is going back to its root of more stealth and less action and open world. And along with it, it also went back in time in terms of the graphic department as it looks very unimpressive. And it doesn't even look that next gen, let alone look that much better than Origin that came out, what, 2017, 2018. So it's a little bit disappointing in the graphic department. Uh, all the graphics settings are pretty identical to what you find in Odyssey and Valhalla. One big issue I'm having with the game right now is that it is a bit blurry for my taste. Um, there is a built-in sharpening tool. Uh, however, even setting it at 70%, I still notice that it is um, a little bit too blurry for my taste. Uh, so that's my only biggest gripe right now with the, uh, the graphics. Now, it also supports uh, DLSS and FSR along with Intel XESS. Uh, it also has HDR support just like the previous AC, but uh, it is pretty unimpressive. Uh, the HDR I found very flat. Um, even Odyssey looks a lot better and definitely Bahada looks great in HDR, but a little disappointing, like I said, with the graphic department in this game. Having said that though, I will definitely give the developer props for how well the game is optimized. Very surprised as it runs really, really well. Uh, I didn't have any issues, stutters, or anything like that. I found uh, myself not even having to use DLSS to get good frame rates. Uh, I have it uh, right now running at native, and uh, I'm not encountering any kind of stutters, and it is very smooth. Uh, like I said, it's not a very impressive looking game. Uh, however, I've seen worse game uh, and run that runs even worse. So, so yeah, props to them. The game does run very good. Control wise, if you're using a mouse and keyboard uh, and you play Valhalla or Odyssey, uh, it is very, very similar. So you'll feel right at home if you played those games. All right, to wrap up my overall impression of this game, I will have to say on a technical level, it's very unimpressive, but it is very refreshing uh, when you compare it to Origin, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Now, I played and I finished Origin, uh, love Odyssey, put about 100 hours of that and 100% that game, but I barely touched Valhalla because by the time I got to Valhalla um, and I opened up that map after a few hours, uh, I, was, I was pretty much done. I uh, did not want to redo everything as it felt like a, a bit of a chore at that point after having played so much Origin and Odyssey. 
uh, Valhalla was just again way too big and that was one of the biggest complaints so it is nice that this game is very much smaller and uh, it is heavy story driven in the first few hours you will be uh, really into the story uh, I didn't even open the map at all the first few hours so that will tell you something about the game and I'm definitely feeling that I can finish this game for sure as it is uh, relatively much shorter and uh, I am already invested in Basim's story uh, so that is good I suppose it's just running around and trying to um, you know uh, complete all of the markers on the screen this is very story driven so I'm having a uh, pretty fun with that and it's a nice change of pace all right guys so that will wrap up my quick impression uh, like always thanks for watching and I will see you in my next impression take care